In every generation, there's a moment where everything changes. This is one of those moments. Introducing GE Additive. Hello, I'm Lucas, and I'm an informatics master's student at the Technical University in Munich. And this is Roboy, our cute humanoid robot. And the aim of his, this project is to mimic the human musculoskeletal system and incorporate uh, the structure that humans use in, in, order to pro uh, in order to produce motion into robots. Could you just tell us how much of Roboy is 3D printed? So everything that you see here in, is uh, of yellowish, whitish color that is 3D printed on ES machines, so 3D sintered. And uh, this enabled us to, to produce Robo really, really quickly. So we didn't have to care about uh, how, how freeform parts need to be manufactured with traditional pro pro manufacturing technologies. How does he interact with people? Well, he, can, he has capacitive touch sensors in his hand. He can detect motion. He can show emotions. He can talk. He can uh, detect faces. In our lab in Munich, we have functional legs that uh, we are trying to get to walk, so maybe by the end of next year we will be able to have a walking robot and have some artificial intelligence incorporated in, in him so he's able to interact actively with uh, people and you have, we are able to have meaningful conversation. This is one of Ro Robe's hands and it was sintered on uh, one of uh, ES's uh, 3D sintering machines. So Robo was built in nine months, so that is really, really short for uh, for building an entire robotic system from scratch. And when designing freeform parts, we didn't have to care about how this can be manufactured with traditional manufacturing technologies. So this hand is all produced and printed in one go. It has all the joints that we need, all the cable routing channels that we need are incorporated in the system. They are inside and that wouldn't have been possible with other manufacturing technologies. And it's very, very quickly. So we just design it and say, go print it, two hours later we have a hand like this. How many parts do you think that you could make Roboy in? Over uh, 100 uh, 3D sintered parts, but uh, of course many of those parts are already interlinked. Okay. So we don't have to assemble everything in uh, minute work. Roboy's skeleton is 3D printed and it's really, really robust. As you might see, it's already quite, uh, quite worn. He's four years old at the moment. And we have been to over 70 fairs and conventions, have seen hundreds of days of interaction with people and children. We have done theater plays. So he's quite experienced. We've traveled with him all over the world.